Hello Pisces, welcome to your love life reading. This is an extended, it's going to be a little more detailed and extended love life reading for all my Pisces friends and cross watchers out there. I'll be reading on you guys too. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something nice for you guys for February. So a little separate love life reading that's going to go a little more into detail than what you guys are used to. I want to thank you Pisces friends for having the most views the last couple months the last few sets of videos that i put out there pisces you're looking for wish fulfillment trying to figure out what's next for me how can i make this happen what what's coming to me and is it coming to me soon enough right so yeah some of you though may be feeling a little emotionally discontented as though things haven't been working out in your favor don't you worry, Pisces. We've got blessings coming to you this month. I can feel it. You see, Seven of Cups. It's time to, you know, see through all those different options that are no good for you. Because guess what? They're not all valid options. It's time to move forward with that Six of Swords energy. Mm, and another Six, Six of Pentacles. You need something and someone who can come in, offer their cup of love, and give you equal give and take right so let's check out what is the current love energies for pisces february 2019 let's have pisces current love energy hang on these got a little crazy february 2019 for pisces okay <laughs> ace of cups four of swords and knight of pentacles so some of you may be on a break or taking a break from an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Knight of Pentacles to me is usually Taurus. However, it can, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but they can have, you know, earth sign uh, qualities, tendencies, energies. So there's a lot of love here, but for whatever reason, there is a need to take a break from them, from this situation. Someone obviously needed space. Someone needed some time to figure things out and with that cup of love comes an offer perhaps they come back in wanting to figure out what the next step is wanting to take back control of their life wanting to you know finally give you everything that you've been wanting i feel as though there are things that you are not aware of in this situation and they finally reveal those situations to you if I haven't said it yet, remember Pisces, I know all my regulars know this. This may or may not resonate with everyone. It is a general love life reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am going to pull several sets of cards for you guys. So if this one doesn't resonate, stick around for the next set of cards. So there's some heavy burdens that perhaps you Pisces or this other person this partner was carrying right it's almost as though they didn't want to burden you with all the bullshit all their drama there was much more to their situation to their life to their problems that meets the eyes right five of swords perhaps they even became an asshole with you they were trying so hard to fight through this toxic situation, toxic energies. Perhaps this was baby mama issue or wifey, ex-wife partner issues. Perhaps they were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially strong Aries here. But I feel as though this person was in need of taking a break and they come to you and they let you know, look, this is why I said the things I said. It wasn't to hurt you. It wasn't because I didn't want you around. But rather, I didn't know how else to move forward, how else to cut away from the situation I was going through. And it weighed on them heavily. But at the same time, it's like there's too much of a toxic energy between the two of you. And so one of you or both of you felt as though all this work and no payout What's the next step? A brand new, beautiful new beginning, right? 
So let's move on to that new beginning. Tell me about Pisces new beginning. We'll start with that Ace of Wands. Let's see. What does Pisces have in store for them? Ace of Wands, energy, fiery, hot passion, sexy time for some of you guys, right? For some of you, well, when this person comes back and tries to make you understand everything they've been going through, you are just full of fire, fire in your belly because you're so angry and mad that they put you through as much as they did. It's like they should have known better. How dare they leave you hanging? Because I feel like that's how you felt, like they left you hanging. You had this, you know, anticipation or idea, or perhaps they did, about wanting this Ten of Cups energy. You thought maybe they are the one. Maybe they are. But maybe their hang-ups are too strong, too severe for them to be able to move forward with you. Look at that beautiful sun card. There are happier days ahead for you, Pisces. I don't know if this partner realizes it, though. Yep, they might come in talking all this love how they feel about you, how what they said or did in the past was not what they intended. But then guess what happens? What usually happens? This Knight of Wands energy, they come in full force, full of fire and passion and love. And then they don't even stick around. They say everything that they know you want to hear. And then it feels like you're going through endings over and over again. It's like constantly purging a breakup, an ending, a separation that causes so much confusion, self-imposed prison because you're so heartbroken that you can't even figure out what the next step is. Well, do they or don't they want to be with me? Do they or don't they mean half the shit they've been telling me? What in the world happens next? Seven of Wands, standing your ground, standing up for what you believe in because you have your own ideas of how you want to move forward here. And I feel that you're feeling strong enough to say, no, I'll believe it when I see it. Prove it to me. Don't just talk to me. Don't just say things. Prove it to me. What's going to be different this time, right? They want a second chance, another opportunity to come back into your life. And at this point, I think that you feel that you have healed or you've started the healing process and you feel like you feel strong enough to move on, move forward, that you're just not quite sure if you can believe them anymore. Some of you may already have a new love interest and you're like, mm, no, you know what? This person's actually saying or doing what they mean, do what they mean, right? Mean what they say. And I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them an opportunity. Success and growth. Throat chakra, obviously, things that need to be said and balance. Okay. So let me put these to the side. Success and growth, that is one's energy, right? Like the eight of wands. So with the throat chakra, obviously there is a need to communicate. There is a need to finally sit down or maybe don't sit down. Maybe just say exactly what you feel. Remember what I said, mean what you say, say what you mean. This is about finding a resolution and finding progress and speaking of what it is that you truly want. And if they are not ready to give you exactly what you want if they are not ready to work for it right then what's the point you're just trying to figure out how do I move on how do I figure things out the balance card it's a sense of wanting to renew yourself before you renew this relationship 
And I think you're starting to figure that out because you want healing and harmony before any of this ends up panning out or turning into more than what it's been for quite some time. So you need to find balance. You need to figure out, you know, how can we make time for each other? How can we see each other? How can this possibly work out if you are not at the same place that I am? I don't know if you are ready for what I want or what I am offering. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Eight of Cups, right? So you have two eights and a nine. Wish Fulfillment. This is about success in growth, in communication, of actually saying, you know what? No, don't just say it, do it. Equal give and take. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to prove it to me? Clear that throat chakra. Say everything that needs to be said about their wishy-washy ways of them coming and going whenever they freaking feel like it. And you're like, at this point, I think I'm better off staying single, even if it feels like stagnation. And so in order for you to find balance, in order for you to find balance be between the two of you, you are now at the point of saying, you know, it's time for a new beginning. I need to do what's right by me. This isn't fair to me that you can come and go as you please and say and do whatever it is that may be, you know, on your mind because you're afraid to lose me. They feel left out in the cold that you want to put yourself, your needs, your wants, desires, whatever it may be before them because they're not giving you something secure and stable. So why is it so wrong for them to be feeling left out in the cold after all the times they've left you out in the cold? Don't you deserve to be happy, Pisces? Yeah, you do deserve to be happy. You have a new love offer, a new offer coming in. You have good news coming towards your way. And at this point, you're just like, you know what? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I know that I've been saying for a long time that this was the relationship. This was the partnership that I wanted, but not like this. This isn't the way I wanted things. This isn't going to work anymore. Yes, I want to be with you. Yes, I love you. Yes, I want this, this, and that, and the other, right? Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. You do. You do need time alone and you do know why. Because in order for you to create the future, the love life, the relationship that you want for yourself, you need to heal yourself and allow for that to come to you because some sh good shit is about to happen, Pisces. Don't let your issues fuck it up. As a matter of fact, don't let their issues fuck it up either. love get some give some it will cheer your ass up and shit is going down with your job reevaluate change your perspective or fucking quit so pisces for some of you who have been dealing with a partner that's been wishy-washy that's been coming and going that hasn't been meeting your needs you know, I would say they don't even need half of your needs. They come and go. They, you know, try to get you to understand that they've been going through some shit and they know that you're so loving and caring and understanding. And, you know, they're just, this is their way of trying to keep you and do what they need to do at the same time. But, you know, if you two are meant for each other, then you need to allow each other the freedom to grow, to heal, to move forward together or alone, or perhaps figure out if you two are going to come back together. So let's figure it out. Let's, let's move on, Pisces. What does Pisces need to do from here on out? So, how does Pisces continue? 
How do they continue from here on out? What do they need to do? The emperor, it's time to take back control of your life, of your situation. How you want things to manifest is completely up to you. You have the power, the ability. You have everything that you need, the insight to make this happen to the way you want it, regardless of how long you've been hanging around waiting for this to manifest in your favor. It's about doing what's best for you at this point because, well, if you don't put yourself first, how can somebody else put you first? Two of Wands. Closing out life cycles. The wheel. King of Cups. Is this you or another water sign? Cancer Scorpio. Pisces Cancer Scorpio. So it's about taking back control of your life. Trying to figure out how you can untie yourself. You've taken such, you know, an extended break from each other. That I feel that you have graduated onto different levels of healing, of growth, on how to move on, how to move forward. You're starting to gain the clarity that you need to be able to move forward, right? Because you need to love yourself first. And with love comes growth. Love yourself. Put your needs first. Know that success will come to you. Self-love, self-care, you know I get preachy about it. But this is a cycle that needs to come to an end. And even if you are not ready, guess what? The universe will make it happen. There is that Ace of Wands once again. So you have a new opportunity. You have an opportunity to make this Two of Cups a reality. You're nostalgic. You're thinking about the past. You're wondering whether or not this is going to work out if you are only stuck to the past without really evaluating the whole situation. But I feel that some of you are ready for that new beginning. Yeah, I definitely feel it. You just need to get clear with this, par with this partner, with this person. You really need to get clear. Stand your ground. Let them know everything they put you through. How you've had those sleepless nights, worries, anxiety, self-imposed prison. Thinking, what did I do? Did I just waste X amount of time on this person? Am I thinking and overthinking whether or not this person is interested in me? Whether or not they love me? Whether or not it's the right thing to do to be with this person. With that two of wands energy that came out. Think about which path you want to take. You're at a crossroads. Do you work things out because it's what you have been wanting for so long? Or do you say, you know what? No. Keep doing you. And I will do me. And when the time is right, we'll see where we are. I have other options, other opportunities that I think I might indulge in, that my, I think I might look into. Right? Some of you are at that point where you're just like, no, I don't know if I will take them back anymore. I don't think, I think I'm in a better place than I was before. So what's the heal yourself oracle message that Pisces needs to hear. Okay. Letting go. You get that, Pisces? Some connections are not meant to continue, but only to teach you what you need to move on to the correct soulmate partner that is meant for you. So for some of you, this was a lesson that needed to be learned. This was about... A new partner coming in but they couldn't come in until you learned from whatever it was that you needed to learn from this partner it is time to let go of the disappointments the pain the heartache from the past yeah it's about charging ahead look at that 
being victorious in your own right definitely letting go and moving forward you need calmer waters not worrisome nights not sleepless nights anxiety filled <sighs> nights days weeks months years wondering if this is the month that things are going to fall apart do we get back together will things fall apart just as bad as they did before so how can Pisces let go and there is that earth sign again and the six graduates to a seven seven of swords with that knight of pentacles some of you just really just want to turn your back on them no matter how much you love them there is some form of shadiness here it's almost as though as some sort of shady energy is between you and this person that essentially blocks that cup of love from coming in i mean that seven of swords is literally in between that ace of cups and the knight of pentacles so not only is the knight of pentacles the slowest knight in the deck right but even slower at this rate with the seven of swords energy in between so what do we do from here on out what can pisces do to help clear themselves of this energy whether to release themselves from the deception of the past the disappointment from the past there you are the chariot again three majors by the way and the three of cups so what does Pisces need to do in order to let go? Understand there is, that there is more to this situation than you are aware of. There could be legal issues on your end or on their end. I feel as though they are waiting on these legal issues to surpass time go on. Allow this person the victory that they need to break away from whatever this commitment may have been, whether it was business contract, relationship, divorce. This may be a divorce situation. You're waiting for them to get a divorce because I see three people here. Three different people with their cups of love. So there is more to this situation than you are aware of. The thing is, is the way you want things to work out, the outcome that you are expecting or anticipating at this time is not going to be the way you want it to be. You have to allow this situation to come to an end, release yourself from it, let go of the expectations you had from this relationship from this partnership allow every single piece of this partnership to come crashing down because when the time is right you will either move on and rebuild on your own or this person will be ready to be able to rebuild something with you right pisces so let's go back to this psychic tarot of the heart. What other messages do you have for Pisces, February 2019? Sun, moon, Venus, rising. Awaiting results. Well, that's for sure. You are absolutely waiting for something to work out, something to pay out. Listen, which is like the high priestess card spread your wings that is like the two of wands okay so here it is you've been you know for lack of a better word sorry i'm going to say it this way pisces you've been waiting for all your hard work all your energy everything that you have put into this relationship you have been waiting for it to pay out you feel that all this work for nothing it got me nowhere Listen to your intuition, your inner eye, your mind's eye, and realize that there was something here that you will you need to walk away with and spread your wings. 
you are being asked to spread your wings see what is out there for you you have new love on the horizon you have options you have good times happy times stable times ahead so clarify awaiting results this is about growth only you're imagining the growth in a different way two of pentacles a part of you is still wanting this to pay out right to give you the results that you need but it's not about waiting for the results. It's about looking back at how much you've grown, at what you have done, at what you have learned, and listen to your mind's eye as to what your next step really needs to be. If you are trying to check up on this person or maybe they're checking up on you. Maybe they are the ones watching you. Absolutely watching you, stalker vibes, or you them. But I've been feeling like stalker vibes, like someone is trying to see what you've been up to. If not, this is you with them trying to see what you've been up to, what they've been up to, trying to catch you slipping. There are secrets there. They want to figure out, they want to know about you, or you want to know about them. The death card. Put an end to it all. It's time to put an end to it. Rebirth and renewal. Start all over again. Listen to your intuition. Your mind's eye. You already know the answer to this. You don't need to hear me say it. Right? You already know the best way, the best path, the best foot forward towards your Ten of Cups towards your happily ever after your victory has this relationship from the past that didn't work out that you put so much time and energy into has does it have the potential to bring about this ten of cups that you so want knight of swords it's time to cut it out Cut out the bullshit that holds you back. Listen to yourself. You know the answer to this. You know you do. Page of Pentacles. If you are waiting for this Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're not ready to give you this. There are, they are not, and you already know this already, they are not in a position to give it to you. So you're being asked to spread your wings because this connection that you are keeping alive just barely is weighing heavily on you. And not just on you, but I feel on them too because it's almost as though this self-defeatist energy of, I'm sorry, I can't give you what you want. And it's almost as though it's your fault they can't give you what you want. So it's time to get out there. Spread your wings. See what's out there. Grow. Love yourself more. Why hold yourself back with that Ten of Swords energy? Stop the Ten of Swords, Two of Swords energy. Ten and Two. Stop that energy from manifesting. Release yourself. Take the blindfold off. For some of you, this is an absolute ending to this partnership relationship. You don't want to see it. You're still holding on to it. You know you deserve better. You know it's time to spread your wings and find somebody that loves you more than anything. But a part of you is still holding on to that Ten of Swords. So, Pisces, is this how you really want to live your life? Is this what you really want things to be like with this partner? that comes and goes as they please, that are not very, that are not really there for you in the way that you need them. Archangel Oracle, I'll take some messages here because I feel that at this point, my Pisces friends 
need to hear some healing messages. Archangel Oracle messages. What messages do you have for Pisces, February 2019? All is well. Archangel Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. You really need to go through this, grow through what you go through to really see that every experience that you have had to go through is to bring you to the right path for you, your divinely guided path. Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Get grounded, get some fresh air, try to spend time outdoors. I know weather permitting, it's been crazy in California. I can only imagine where you're at. And passion. Archangel Haniel, Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. As you grow through everything that you have been going through, you'll have a renewed sense of self, a renewed sense of passionate energy for what is out there for you that perhaps you hadn't really realized that there's a whole other world, a whole other life. Maybe you were a, a bit obsessive about the situation. Maybe you were holding on too tight to this relationship or situationship for some of you that are in third party situations. But I do feel as though for some of you, if not most of you, it is about letting go, releasing yourself from those types of expectations and energies. Angel therapy oracle messages. What messages do you have for Pisces, February 2019? Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. You see, look at that. It's like they go hand in hand. You see that? You have manifestation power. All is well. Do you get that, Pisces, that you have manifestation power, that you can create the life that you want, the love that you want? Some of you need to go vegan or vegetarian or just simply introduce a much more healthy diet into your life, organic foods. Release yourself from, you know, the sugar addiction, processed foods. Cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So when you have those thoughts, those ideas, those insecurities, you know, the self-sabotage behavior, the pity party, stop yourself from expanding on those energies and say no. Cancel, clear, delete. When things are not working in your favor and you tend to go back to that you know, negative self-talk, that self-imposed prison, wondering what the hell am I doing? Why am I here? Cancel, clear, delete. Do not spend too much time in that energy. It is it's doing you no good. Let me tell you, it is not for your highest good. So let's pull a few more cards here before we finish this off. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Five of Cups. There you go. Look at that. And when I pulled the Five of Cups card, my little sign turned off. That was a definite sign for someone. Perhaps to let you know that, look at that, and the Three of Cups was up right side up. Perhaps to let you know that, you know, you've spent enough time wallowing in your own misery. You've spent enough time crying over spilled milk. Know that your two of cups is coming to you. You just need to release the idea that you have in your mind of who it is and how you're going to get it. So tell me about the Pisces cross watcher. Pisces cross watcher. Who's watching? Who's watching Pisces? Someone who's very undecided, feel like they can't move forward. Isn't that the same energy that came out? 
right? Someone who's stuck in indecision, trying to come to their senses, trying to figure out what's the next step. How do I make my next move? What in the world should I be doing? Well, Crosswatcher probably needs to go through a divorce. Is probably trying to figure out what their next step is after the divorce or how to get through a divorce. If not, this is about doing the right thing by you. By you, see? The cross watcher is saying, well, look at that, three major arcanas. So my little Pisces cross watchers, at this point, you've probably taken enough time in that hanged man energy that it is time for you Wow, and another major arcana. That it's time for you to get the strength and the courage to finally reveal everything that's been going on. Be honest with them. Be open and honest with them. If you're going through a divorce, let them know. Queen of Wands. If you're unsure, maybe you're not going through a divorce. Maybe you're going through some other legal matters and you're feeling embarrassed or ashamed. The Judgment card. These are very strong messages for the Pisces cross watcher, let me tell you. Holy moly. Jesus. So far, only one card is not a major arcana. So obviously, this is a huge, huge sign, a huge message for the Pisces cross watcher. If you are watching the Pisces reading because you're not sure what to do, you're trying to figure them out, you're watching videos trying to figure out how to maneuver your way back into their life, what is the right thing to say or do to get there, let me tell you something, Pisces cross watcher, Ace of Cups came out again. There's obviously a lot of love between you. So what the hell are you doing wasting your time? I mean, I'm about to give you some truth talk right now, right? Pisces cross watcher. You're not quite sure if you should open up to them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, six major arcanas, right? So you've spent way too much time here. Hanged man mode in stagnation. You're obviously not moving forward. You're not quite sure if you can, if you can move forward with them or not. The love is there between the two of you, but you know what your Pisces needs? Your Pisces needs the truth. Your Pisces needs for you to make a fair and just decision about whether or not you want to work things out. Your Pisces needs you to be strong and take action in moving forward and be strong enough to offer a legit, and I mean legit, offer a legit second chance at making this work and if you are dealing with toxic energies and addictions you better prove to them that you are working on releasing yourself from them because until you do you ain't going nowhere so until you show them stability and consistency they've got no business accepting that cup of love and nor do you have any business offering it to them so you need to decide once and for all is this someone that you want in your life and what the hell are you going to do about it right so let's give you some truth tarot here with the rebel deck what messages do you have for pisces cross watchers what messages do you have for pisces cross watchers Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So, is this Pisces worth it? Why are you stop why are you stalking? Why are you obsessing? Get back in there. Because you are loved. They love you. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Get the fuck out of your head, cross watcher. Get in your heart, it misses you. And I bet the Pisces misses you too. One more card, please. Some of you probably cannot handle some of these messages. You need a good fucking cry. 
get that ugly cry on, let that shit go, your soul will thank you. And I bet it will have the strength and courage to finally be open and honest and free yourself from, you know, this mentality of maybe I'm not enough, maybe I just can't give them what they want right now. So why are you holding on to them? Don't do yourself or them any favors by doing something like this. Do what is right to be able to move forward with them. Is that what you want? I'm sure it is. So one last thing before we move on. One last thing before we move on for Pisces. Okay, we're going to do Pisces couple combinations here, right? Thank you, Terry, for the suggestion. I had a Pisces friend who messaged me that said, why don't you do this? Well, because it will take a long ass freaking time, that's why. But since I'm doing extended readings for the month of February for Valentine's Day, I thought, why the hell not? Let's do this. Let's figure it out. Okay, so we're going to go through every sign combination pisces dealing with we are in aquarius season so let's get to it pisces dealing with aquarius a message for pisces dealing with aquarius involved with an aquarius this is a time to put old ways to death yeah it's time to put an end to bad habits bad situations start again a renewal of love is needed Pisces dealing with a Pisces. Too many cards. Let's have a Pisces, Pisces couple combination. Six of Pentacles. So are you both being stubborn? There's no equal give and take here. One is giving more than the other. What's after Pisces? Is that Aries? The Temperance card. It's time to pump the brakes, slow down. If you are drinking too much, overindulging, slow down. Be careful. Take your time with this relationship that was for Pisces and Aries. Pisces and Taurus. Nine of Wands. You've been through hell and back with this partnership and relationship. Oh yeah. Some of you are probably on a break. Isn't that how this whole reading started? I feel like it's just one big giant reading. Are all of my Pisces friends going through this? Pisces and Gemini. You or they are stuck in your head. Self-imposed prison, you feel like you can't move forward. There is something here that you keep replaying in your mind. Yeah, it's like missed opportunities, emotional discontentment. You feel like you can't move on. Pisces and Cancer. The Aries card, Emperor. Taking back control of the way this relationship is going to work out. Needing to take a break, going within, truth seeking here for Pisces dealing with cancer. This is like, all right, before we move forward, it's time to seek some answers, seek some truth. Pisces and Leo. Pisces and Leo. Okay, this is a wake-up call to your partnership, Pisces and Leo. Look at that. Definite wake-up call with the lover's card and the tower, two majors. 
So this is a situation that is about to awaken you. Things feel like they're falling apart between the two of you. It's time to figure out if it's worth salvaging or not, right? Pisces and Virgo. High Priestess. Are you keeping secrets from each other? Maybe not being fully or completely honest with each other about your wants, needs, desires. There's love there that wants to be manifested. You just don't know how to get there yet. Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra. Two of Pentacles and Six of Cups. So this is juggling something or someone from the past. Pisces and Libra. You're not sure if you want to continue this partnership or relationship because you're juggling a past partnership or they are. Pisces and Scorpio. Too much craziness here. Wow, you guys got some crazy energy here. Pisces and Scorpio. Wow. The Empress and the Wheel of Fortune, two majors. Okay, closing out life cycles, moving on to something new, giving birth to new ideas. The universe, whether you like it or not, is pushing you towards new beginnings. Fertile ground. Pisces and Sagittarius. King of Cups. Whether you... That is you and the Two of Swords. So, Pisces and Sagittarius, take the blinders off. Pick a dude, pick a partner, pick a path. You're at a crossroads and you're keeping yourself blind for a reason, or perhaps they are. Pisces and Capricorn. Look at that. Four of Wands. Union coming together and lots of love. So some of you may be getting married. Some of you may be reuniting. Some of you may be moving ahead. Others of you are actually walking away from this energy. There's more to this than meets the eye. But some of you are turning your back on this connection. Okay, so Pisces. I know normally I do singles and couples. I just felt like doing an extended reading using several different decks and trying to get to whatever energies may be out there for you Pisces. So really quickly before I end this, because boy, is this an extended reading. <laughs> really quickly, let me have the love energy. Romance angels, please. Love energy for Pisces singles. Straight up singles. What can they expect? How do we unblock their single life? For February 2019. Two cards flew out. Your soulmate. Wow. Forgiving and learning. So. Soulmate and forgiving and learning. Yes, this is your soulmate. Whoever it is that you have been thinking about. Thinking of reconnecting, reuniting with. Wondering if they are your soulmate? Well, there's your answer. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past to experience more love in your present moments. So here it is. Soulmate energy. Remember, soulmate doesn't mean they are your forever partner. Soulmate means that you have a love connection with this person. They are here to teach you something. They are here maybe because of past life attachments perhaps karmic ties and so you try to figure out how to move on from that in order for you to cut away this karmic ties that you have towards each other look at that forgiving and learning working towards the truth and clarity does not mean that you end up together but it certainly means that you forgive and heal and start fresh, new life, new love comes your way. Maybe some of you need to heal from that. Look at that. It's like a little pentacle family. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Pisces, if you're dealing with earth signs, they are all here. It's like a little family. This has never happened before. Well, you may be feeling this soulmate energy with an earth sign. There's a lot of earth here. Forgiving and learning comes with a price, but it also brings about stability, consistency, to help keep you grounded. Truth and clarity, remember that. Get clear about what it is that you truly want and who you truly want and whether or not this person can provide that for you. Don't put your life on hold, okay? Do what you need to do to make yourself happy. Don't give that responsibility to anyone else. Coupled up Pisces. Quick love energy reading for coupled up Pisces. Married, coupled, dating. Release your ex. One more. And retreat. Okay, Pisces, if you're still indulging in a physical relationship with an ex they are obviously blocking you from this current partner if you're married or a new relationship so there is a need to take a break here release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and if you think oh i'm over that i'm not holding on to them what do you mean I need to release it? You know, sometimes you're holding on to something of theirs. Their energy is around you. Other people can feel, see, or realize that maybe you're still holding on to them for whatever reason. Maybe you've just been pretending you're stronger than you really are. You're stronger. You're trying to show this appearance of strength because you're still upset or heartbroken from this relationship from the past so if you are in a relationship current partnership marriage this indulging still hanging out hooking up talking to flirting with your ex needs to end it's only delaying your growth in your current partnership or relationship. Part of you feels that this connection with your ex is too strong to let go. Take your time in making this decision. Do what is best for you. If you know that this ex comes and goes, that's all they will ever do because that is what you allow and they will continue to do it. So take some time with your partner. Reconnect with them. Disconnect and release yourself from that ex energy that was your extended love life reading pisces i hope this resonated with you i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe if you would like to book a personal reading my information is in the description box below email virgo angel tarot at gmail.com if you're not already following me on instagram you can find my monthly specials there as i do have a february special okay so if you'd like to book a reading again info in the description box below thank you guys so much i wish you all the best happy valentine's day lots of love to you pisces and i will see you next month take care bye